Today, we're delving into a multitude of financial developments, from the suspense surrounding a hedge fund trading halt to the staggering losses faced by major U.S. banks. Additionally, we'll dissect the intriguing hints dropped by Adam Aaron regarding a MC upcoming earnings announcement. Hey, welcome to a MC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember, this is not a financial advice video. Adam Aaron, the CEO of AMC, recently took to Twitter to disclose the much-anticipated date for the fourth quarter and full-year 2023 earnings announcement, February 28, 5 p.m., EST. Aaron tantalizingly hinted at addressing ongoing matters during the earnings call, suggesting that his insights into the current state of affairs would be revealed. While the specifics of his address remain unknown, speculation abounds regarding potential discussions on the declining stock price. The phenomenon of synthetic shorting and AMC strategic plans to bolster its market standing and financial health. The community eagerly awaits Aaron's remarks, poised for potential revelations that could sway market sentiments. In the realm of stock market dynamics, Joshua Sky posits a straightforward explanation for a MC predicament concerted efforts by hedge funds and market makers to suppress the stock price, hindering a MC ability to raise capital and alleviate debt burdens. The proliferation of synthetic shorts over the years underscores a calculated strategy to drive an MC into bankruptcy, a fate that seems increasingly unlikely given Aaron's staunch resolve to thwart delisting maneuvers and safeguard a MC viability. The impending earnings call assumes heightened significance against this backdrop, offering a platform for Aaron to address stakeholders' concerns and outline strategies for navigating turbulent market waters. Meanwhile, alarming revelations emerge regarding the precarious state of commercial real estate loans held by major U.S. banks. Reports indicate a concerning trend wherein the value of delinquent commercial property debt has surged, outpacing the meager reserves set aside by banks to mitigate potential losses. This disconcerting imbalance underscores the vulnerability of these financial institutions to impending defaults, with implications for broader economic stability. The decision by New York Community Bank to bolster its loss provisions reflects a growing recognition of the looming risks and the imperative of fortifying defenses against financial turbulence. Against the backdrop of these financial tremors, China regulatory interventions in its stock market reverberate across global financial circles. The suspension of a hedge fund for disruptive trading practices underscores China proactive stance in safeguarding market integrity, a contrast to perceived laxity in other jurisdictions. Calls for similar regulatory rigor in Western markets gain traction, fueled by concerns over market manipulation and systemic vulnerabilities. In a separate development, Jeff Bezos' sizable divestment of Amazon shares raises eyebrows, with speculation rife about insider sentiment and its implications for broader market trends. Pundits draw parallels to historical precedents, invoking cautionary tales of past market downturns coinciding with insider sell-offs. The mounting apprehension among investors underscores prevailing anxieties over the trajectory of equity markets with divergent outlooks on the horizon. As the financial landscape continues to evolve amidst shifting tides of regulatory scrutiny, market volatility, and corporate maneuvering, stakeholders remain vigilant, attuned to signals that could portend seismic shifts in market dynamics. The convergence of disparate narratives from a MC struggle for survival to bank battle against mounting loan defaults underscores the intricacies and interconnectedness of global financial markets. In an era defined by uncertainty and flux, adaptability and foresight emerge as indispensable assets for navigating the ever-evolving terrain of finance. Amidst these intricate financial narratives, one cannot overlook the broader implications of regulatory interventions and market dynamics. China decisive actions to curb disruptive trading practices serve as a stark reminder of the regulatory arbitrage prevalent in global financial markets. The three-day trading ban imposed on a hedge fund for market manipulation resonates as a cautionary tale for regulatory bodies worldwide, highlighting the imperative of vigilance against malfeasance and its destabilizing effects. The disparity between regulatory responses in different jurisdictions prompts introspection within Western financial systems. Calls for stricter oversight and punitive measures against rule-breaking entities gain momentum as stakeholders demand a level playing field and enhance market integrity. The notion of holding hedge funds accountable through swift and decisive sanctions finds resonance among investors disillusioned by perceived regulatory inertia. 
Moreover, the unfolding saga of commercial real estate loans poses systemic risks that reverberate beyond the confines of banking boardrooms. The mismatch between mounting loan defaults and dwindling loss reserves underscores a precarious equilibrium with potential ramifications for broader economic stability. The specter of bank insolvency looms large, evoking memories of past financial crises and the imperative of prudential risk management. In tandem with these macroeconomic tremors, the microcosm of insider trading casts a shadow of uncertainty over equity markets. Jeff Bezos' substantial divestment of Amazon shares triggers speculation about his foresight into market trends, fueling conjecture about the broader implications for investor sentiment. The parallels drawn to historical precedents serve as a sobering reminder of the cyclical nature of market dynamics and the perils of overexuberance in bull markets. Against this backdrop of financial flux and regulatory scrutiny, stakeholders navigate a landscape fraught with uncertainty and volatility. The convergence of disparate narratives from regulatory crackdowns in China to corporate disclosures in the United States underscores the interconnectedness of global financial markets and the imperatives of adaptability and resilience. In an era defined by paradigm shifts and systemic vulnerabilities, stakeholders must remain vigilant, attuned to signals that could portend seismic shifts in market dynamics. In conclusion, the tapestry of global finance is woven with threads of complexity and uncertainty, punctuated by regulatory interventions, market dynamics, and corporate maneuvers. As stakeholders traverse this ever-evolving terrain, they must navigate with prudence and foresight, mindful of the interconnectedness of financial systems and the imperatives of market integrity and resilience. In the crucible of uncertainty, adaptability emerges as the hallmark of survival, enabling stakeholders to weather the storms of volatility and seize opportunities amidst the flux of change. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about AMC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.